Hello, what's up everybody? Cobra Axis and Allies here. Uh, today I just wanted to show you like a little quick review of a what I'm calling my Soviet booster pack. Uh, basically, it is just um, uh, just a, a few kind of new forces to add to my, my Soviet army for World War II. Um, and as you can see here, a lot of custom infantry. Uh, I got these in a prize a while ago off a uh, Facebook um, uh, event for the Axis and Allies Facebook page. Um, and uh, it was a pretty generous prize, and uh, that came with it was a lot of these uh, Russian soldiers, and uh, a few, as you can see at the bottom, uh, vehicles too. Um, now the soldiers are probably going to be replacing a lot of my uh, Russian, um, my actual Russian troops. I'll probably leave in about five uh, original um, Axis and Allies ones, but uh, these guys will pretty much be replacing all of them. Now. Uh, Really quick, uh, these aren't completely finished. You can see uh, some of the guys that don't have any bases. I do have uh, bases ready to go. I just need some glue to uh, be able to glue them on. Because uh, uh, right here you can see uh, this guy. He is a NK NKVD um, uh, soldier. And I've got uh, another one of them right here. Um, so they need some bases, and you can see there's a few guys uh, crouching and uh, the prone guy, um, and they're going to need some bases too. But uh, real quick, I guess we'll just give you a really quick kind of look at all of the forces that I've I've got. So first up, we've got uh, this guy in the corner here. Uh, that is a Soviet mountain uh, troop, and you can see he's got his uh, little um, his little pickaxe and everything uh, for his engineering roles. And, uh, yeah, uh, I like the detail on that guy. Um, after that is a Russian naval infantry. Uh, I really like, I really like the uniform of, uh, these guys. Like, they've got these black kind of, um, it's a pretty, uh, what's it called, uh, um, intimidating uniform. The only problem is, and then they've also got their bandoliers of, uh, a bunch of machine gun ammo. The only problem with them uh, in bringing them into the painted world is that black is not a great color. Like you can't really see any of the lines or anything, so it hides a lot of the details with uh, with them. Uh, after that, we've got these guys with the red hats. You can see, um, but we've got a a few of them, and these are Cossacks. Uh, you can see they've got a slightly different uniform with uh, their blue pants and uh, their red topped. Uh, fur hats. Uh, we got some detailing on the back with the straps and everything. Um, I really like these guys. They're probably some of my favorites for this uh, expansion. And probably like if I ever, right now they're just our normal infantry. But if I ever uh, kind of play with the Russian elites or anything, uh, they'll probably be used as my elite guys. Um, after that, we can see we've got a uh, we've got this guy right here. These crouching guys. Um, and all these guys you can see with the uh, the, the hats on, these uh, brown hats, are pretty standard, just Russian soldiers in a winter uniform. So they've got kind of these heavy uh, combat coats on. Um, I'll show you this guy for an example. Um, yeah, you can see it a little more, more in detail. I really like the, the, uh, the wash on these guys because it kind of highlights all the little uh, ruffles in their coats. And... Um, Yeah, you can see he's got his gun on the back. And uh, another thing you may be able to notice with these is that I decided to do uh, some actual gun detailing. So there's a lot. And usually I'll, my uh, way of take painting is uh, just to do like brown guns, uh, usually rifles. You know, the majority of the color was the, the wooden stock. So I just go with that color. But you can see on a lot of these guys, they've got that gun metal gray detailing, especially with this guy here. Uh, he's got that... Um, that wooden rifle, but then that top of it is uh, that gunmetal gray for the barrel. Uh, yeah, so then um, another thing I really like about this set is uh, uh, this guy here especially, and I guess the other guy, the prone prone guy, these light machine gunners. Um, uh, you may have seen from my American one, I've got some uh, other machine gunners for the Japanese and American sets that I've got painted up. So these are a great addition just to have some kind of heavy infantry kind of guys. They're they're just normal infantry again, but you know, the um it it, it adds to the overall look of uh 
um, diversity of your army. Um, there's only uh, two, uh, you can see, uh, guys that actually have helmets on. Um, I was kind of, I had a few more of them, but uh, as you'll see in my Colonials expansion, I used uh, a few of them to uh, make my Colonial uh, soldiers. So um, I am down a few of uh, some helmeted Russians, but those will be made up for with my OOB uh, Russians from the original Axis and Allies, so there'll be like five of those guys. But uh, I think that um, I like this uniform better with the bearskin hat. It's a little more iconic, I guess, uh, for uh, Soviet Russia. Um, as you saw before with those baseless guys, and uh, you can see here, um, that is my NKVD uh, forces. And so basically these are the guys that kind of like, you know, your officer class, um, you know, they're, they're making sure that nobody's, uh, nobody's running away from the front line or anything. And, uh, they're making sure everybody's talking great about Stalin and, you know, all that. Um, and then a few, just a couple of, uh, new vehicles to, uh, add to my army. We've got right here, a Russian armored car. Uh, and I decided a different, uh, color for my Russians. Uh, I went with this a slightly lighter green than what I've done before, plus I've given them a silver wash, which I actually really like. Uh, it looks a little bit bright in this uh, uh, with this camera on, but uh, it, it definitely looks pretty good overall, like especially in person. It makes, uh, especially with this tank, it makes it look very, uh, very realistic. And uh, giving you a close-up of this tank, this is uh, not... Historical, yeah, and you can see right there with the silver detailing, kind of how that, um, how that really kind of brings out the the metal aspect of this tank. And this is actually not a HBG part or a standard axis and allies part. This is from a GHQ uh, miniatures, and uh, like I, I've always known that these metal miniatures look a lot better than any plastic, but I've never really kind of considered how good they looked. Uh, I've always kind of been like, well, you know, like, like this armored car over there, you know, from HPG, it's, it's pretty well detailed, especially down all the way down on the map. You're not really looking at it close, but like the detailing on this, um, this armor is just like amazing, uh, with the metal, um, and what you can do with that. So I, I really like this and, uh, you know, I might get some more GHQ models uh, in the future. Um, we've got this little, uh, kind of self-propelled artillery, I guess. Uh, this is a custom unit, just, uh, the guy that sent these to me, um, he, he made this himself. It's just a, uh, historical board gaming, uh, gauze, um, half-track, uh, Russian unit from HBG with a, um, original Axis and Allies anti-aircraft gun mounted on it. So, this will probably just be used as my Russian self-propelled artillery, because it, it's just something a little more different, and uh, yeah. So overall, I mean, that's kind of uh, the gist of uh, what I've what I've got to show you guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed this quick look at my new Russian forces that you'll be seeing in my next uh, Global 36 play uh, um, game with my friends. So I hope to see you guys again, and uh, stay safe out there. Cobra out.